Hello, darlings. You've all heard of Marilyn Monroe. Some of you know Bridget Fardell. Well, now it's time for the cognac show. Limousines drinking the finest champagne. Wearing furs, dazzling diamond jewelry. A girl can't complain. I live the upscale life. Dining in the finest restaurants. Eating the best caviar for free. And no matter how much I enjoy myself, they can't change We're here at the Chrysalis Art Gallery, and I'm here with this famous artist whose artwork has appeared at this gallery repeatedly. Okay. Introduce yourself to the camera, darling. I'm Marianne Lucas, and I live in Santa Barbara. I just actually moved out here full time a few months ago, but I've been out here since I was six years old. So, and I've been with Agnes and the Chrysalis Gallery. Since her first year, I would say almost 10 years, maybe Almost more. 10 years. Yes. Now, tell my audience, what is it about this gallery that you love so much? I love, really, it's the energy that Agnes and Andrea put out. Um, I think art can be intimidating for people. But they don't really understand it. Or they think they don't. And um, what I love about this gallery is that there are so many styles so much variety of so subjects. eclectic yes it is and i think people come in they like what they like agnes supports all different styles and i do i think that the people I just find feel out a little bit more about your artwork and what's special to you and what you love to paint uh i have to say that i started my painting in earnest after i had my children um and what I really found was I was drawn at the way that they interacted with the world, you know, just the way that they would look at a flower or a stone or the waves or the bucket, the sand, the beach, and how they could just become so absorbed in it. And that was really the, what became my subject matter was children, um, mostly because that was what my life was about at the time. It's remained so, though. Um, mostly I do beach scenes. Um, yeah, I saw the one scene of there's a young lady on the beach and she's bending down. I love that. Oh, you do? I, I do, do too. I love that. That's the shell collector. Um, and, and that is one of the things that I've noticed. I've been sitting on these beaches, as I said, since I was a, gir a little girl. And everybody connects and relates to the beaches and the ocean the exact same way. We all walk and stoop down and pick up a shell. Every baby sits with that hat and that bucket and just sifts through that sand. We're all different, different economic, different social, political, and yet everybody's sort of even at the beach. We respond to the beach, the waves, the ocean the same way. And that's what I've noticed over the years, taking photos. I work from photos. Um, that there's like a, a common human experience of the ocean and the beach. Well, it makes me totally relaxed. Yeah. And I live a very, very stressful life mm -hmm. because I'm constantly searching for the, the, the interview. The perfect the interview. The ultimate interview with the <laughs> ultimate celebrity. And, well, and you can retire now. And I, met me. Yes. <laughs> and I'm always searching for people to interview. And I'm always searching. And I'm, we're always going to mm -hmm. events. And I always have to get invited to the next event. I always mm -hmm. have to edit this particular piece or put the, so it's a very stressful yeah. so when I go to the ocean it's so yeah. relaxing it's to me sound too just yes, that yes absolutely yeah. right yeah. the yeah. sound of the waves cracking against the the rocks it's yeah. just I love it's it beautiful. I love and, it. and the other thing that I've also noticed over the years and this is no slight to our wonderful Southampton uh, lifeguards but the moms are really uh, that's the other thing. The, to watch a woman when her child is in the water, there's a certain posture. Support, you know, it looks like she's talking to a girlfriend. Or, but, but she those, knows. But there's an eyeball pinned to the water. And yeah, I have I one know. painting that, that is of that, and it's called The Real Lifeguards. And even the if Real Lifeguards. <laughs> I love that. Yeah, so. You could write a book, yeah, The Real I, Lifeguards. Yeah, The Real Lifeguards. You're right. Now, so. tell my audience, do you have a website? No. Ha Facebook? 
No. I, I'm going to. You need I, every, no, I, my, I keep I know. stressing this my to children everyone. just left for college full time. Now I'm going into full time artist, and that's the goal. I did just move out here, so it's like, all right. Yeah. Okay, Next so thing now is the you, website. you have to get on Facebook. Yeah. Tell everybody your name. What's your name? Tell your full name. Marianne Lucas. L U C A S. You're going to become Facebook fan. I'm going to be your I Facebook am fan. I'm on Facebook, but not as an artist, just as me. You have to promote your artwork. Okay, I will do That's that. That's the whole point behind I, Facebook. You're right. I will do that. Okay. All right. Tell my audience how long your work will be showing here at the. Chrysalis Art Gallery. Okay, well, the hope is there'll be nothing left at the end of tonight. But that probably um, The show hangs for two weeks, and um, there's always something here. You know, I keep Agnes um, with a few paintings always at all times. Always stocked. Time. Yes, yes. You always keep time. her stocked up with your paintings. <laughs> yes. You are a treasure. Are you going to give me a kiss goodbye, darling? Happy Fourth of July. Happy, happy Fourth of I July. Red, white, Day. and blue. <laughs> yes, you are green, but that's okay. It reflects, it reflects her artwork. Great. Give me a kiss, darling. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Happy Fourth of July. Enjoy our independence. Yes, and I <laughs> certainly will. And we will be back in a moment mm -hmm. with more art at the Crillisus Art Gallery. Mm -hmm. Champagne kisses. Let's toast. Okay, this is a toast. Success. To success and to more art. Welcome back. I'm Cognac Willalane, and we are here at the Chrysalis Art Gallery in Southampton. And I'm here with this very, very interesting artist whose subjects are all about fresh produce. Consider me the produce guy. Yes, the produce guy. Introduce yourself to the camera, darling. Hello, how are you? My name is Richard Denishevich, and I'm the still life contemporary realist of uh, Chrysalis Gallery here. And I've been in the gallery for six years now, and I love it. And uh, hope What's to stay. What's there not to like? Oh, I love everything. You're right. You're right. And I hope to stay here for as long as they the place is here. Are you from the Hamptons? I'm from New York City, actually. I'm originally from Hartford, Connecticut, oh, but okay. I live uh, most of my life I've spent in uh, New York City, and I have family out in the Hamptons. So through them, I visited here, and that's how and I. This is how you found out about this gallery. That's it. My brother, my older brother, who, who lives out here with his wife and kids. Uh, they walk by the gallery all the time, and they've all often stopped in. They mentioned me. I came out one day, and, and here we are. Yeah. And here you are, you. Uh, filling the gallery with your beautiful artwork. Well, thank you. It's all about beautiful, fresh fruits and, and, and all kinds of produce and apples and cherries and all well, kinds of different fruits well, we and have vegetables. Well, the eyes healthy, too, yes. not just the body with the fruit. So. What? What fascinates you about that? I mean, that you paint I love, vegetables and fruit. I love massing things together. Uh, anything in a group where I can, you know, spill away, cast shadow, and, and mount it. And fruit seems to work. And people like, you know. How long have you been painting? Most of my life. Um, ever since I was a little kid, I've always loved painting and drawing. But, you know, as I went through school, my teachers, they pushed and, and promoted me to go to, you know, art school eventually. I went to an art school, School of Visual Arts. And, you know, I, I've done a lot of commercial art stuff since then, but uh, just kind of fell into the contemporary realism here at uh, the gallery, and I just fell into it and love it. And uh, it's not exactly what I thought I was going to do, you know, still lives, because I thought I was going to paperback cover, you know, something, you know, I, I was going to go with more of a commercial route. Is but, this uh, something, would you like to pursue that? Not really. I love painting uh, fine art. I've decided here I have a lot of freedom to paint what I want. You know, they, they sort of have an idea of what they'd like. But I, they give me a lot of freedom to paint it as I like it, and, and I've learned a lot from it. So I'm pretty much, I'm going to stick with this for a while, I think. Tell my audience, how long is your artwork going to be here at the gallery? Well, it's going to be here for the next two weeks, uh, the July 4th weekend and the following two weeks after it. But my work is always in the gallery, as well as a, a couple of permanent artists here. So you've got two weeks to check it out if you're if you're up for it I'm definitely going to check it thank out you. and I love that painting right up there that you have on the top wall there with oh, the thank you apples and now that technique that you used with the blue what is that a water bottle it's a seltzer bottle uh, with a very thick uh, turquoise glass body and uh, I, I have I a fascination just love the color and the combination oh, it's just beautiful oh, is there do you have a website 
richdfineart.com. Excellent. Yeah, so you have a okay. website. I do. I have a website. Spell it again. R-I-C-H-D-F-I-N-E-A-R-T.com. Richdfineart.com. Thank you Wonderful. very much. And we'll be back in a moment with more celebrity interviews, more interviews, and more art at this fabulous Chrysalis Art Gallery. Big champagne kisses. Oh, I said cognac. Oh, oh. I said cognac. Oh, oh, oh. I'm a fancy blonde, fallacy dressed to impress. One of a kind girl. This has been a Cry Baby Productions, darlings.